Yes, here he is. That at said, the Nick line. did have the second fastest time in stage one last year. Very a five times stage three athlete, as we mentioned in the intro. Mm -hmm. I need to check with Jay Lewis because I just found out he has four. So, oh, oh, wow. Not even a backswing, able to make the big move and linking the entirety of the Lachey lane. He's going to jump right in, not bothering to stop on the trampoline. He is just flying through this. Placing my time. Oh, watch out. Off, there we go. Twisted up around the tire. That is going to affect his time a little bit. And now he's a little yeah, now he's circular. Whoa. Tried to go for it, but couldn't make it. And he is shocked. Shaking We're shocked, too. Definitely was putting the pedal to the metal. Look at that. Just single pump. But it was right there as his hips went a little too far out. Looked like it didn't allow his fingers to get enough of a grab on that wheel. If not, that buzzer was going down. And now we've got Nick Warren lining up, age 13, as he moves into big swing here. With ease and confidence, to be truthful, showing us his strength as he lines up for skyhooks. Nick Warren was in fifth place at the World Championships a month ago. First place in season eight in the Northeast. One of the longtime veterans of the youth scene. I believe was one of our first youth champions, actually. Ooh, he went for that third skyhook. And yeah. that might have cost him there. He's, I haven't seen that too much today. That is a surprise. But you can see that he's not even requiring... He's just going for a no swing each time. And maybe this time he's going to go straight for the dismount, but we'll see. I just fact-checked myself. Nick has not won a world championship yet. It seems like it's just going to be one of these years, any year now. But Nick Warren has been consistent for so long, five times making it to stage three. Yeah, it is very clear that Nick is a force to be reckoned with here on the course today. And as he eyes up the back end of this course, he's still got the time to potentially see a clear here. He's going for the speedy get... approach. And it looks he like it's is. working. Going around the other way, making the dismount. <laughs> Area 53 left to go, 40 seconds. A very solid time to this point, despite falling on skyhooks. And that just is a testament to Nick's ability to move through this course quickly. Looks like he's going to take a second swing here as he lines up Area 53. Gets the trapeze. Up to that first disc, but it's the move to the second one that has been the crux point. Is he? Oh my Ooh, he's goodness! Static it. What? What? <laughs> I did not know you could do that. <laughs> Alex, Nick I think Warren we're just pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Didn't beat the placement towards yet a stunning fall despite being one of the fastest of the last obstacle. Not to be denied on the challenge course, the first challenge course buzzer of this team division. Alex, that was absolutely incredible. Not only are we seeing an experienced ninja here, but we're seeing an innovator as he worked a static, an obstacle that no one even expected to be able to be static. One more look what at this inc incredible run, the first buzzer of the division. That was absolutely incredible. Who would have guessed it, to be truthful? One more look at this finish. This was the move that caught us all off guard. That's essentially a vertical limit grip, kind of reminiscent of cheese wedges in stage three from a few years ago. Well, I think we've, unless Nick holds a strength that none of the other athletes do, I think we've seen a, a meta here that's being developed and I think other athletes may follow suit or try to follow in Nick's footsteps. That was absolutely incredible.